She's 21 years old now, but when she was four years old, she lost her mama and her daddy, okay? And an auntie took her in to raise. And then she started going to the Louisville Central Community Center, which is a place like this, very much like this. And she was probably, how old are you? Seven. So by the time my little friend was seven years old, your age, she was dancing. She was dancing all around the center, just like you were this morning. And then the next thing you know, she was taking ballet classes at the Louisville Ballet School. And then she danced in the Nutcracker Ballet. Well, she studied really hard. That's the most important thing I can say to you today. Akira studied really hard. She read her books. She worked hard in ballet. And then she learned to play the violin. Yes, when she was in high school. She went to Manuel High School. And when she graduated from high school, she got a full college scholarship, just like Mariah. Mariah has a college scholarship right over here. Give her a round of applause. So my friend Akira got a college scholarship and went to New York City. Everybody go, ooh-ah. Ooh-ah. So now Akira is in New York City, and she is dancing. And we have a picture of the dance studio where Akira is. And if you look, you can see the buildings behind, out that window, in downtown New York City. Which one is it? All right, now, Akira is in the class, and her, she's over here, so she's cut out of the picture. But we know she's there, because I've seen it. So Akira is studying in college. She's dancing with the Alvin Ailey School of Dance. It's the number one dance academy in the entire world. Really? Yes. I got a message from a friend of mine at the Kentucky Center for the Arts. You know where that is, over on Main Street, right? My friend said that Akira is in France and she's going to Finland this summer to dance with the people of the Alvin Ailey School of Dance. Why? Because she came to a place just like this when she was little, like some of you. She came every year. She came after school. She came in the summer. She worked really hard. You know, I think about the song Amazing Grace that I asked you all to sing for me. And I want to tell you, the first time I heard it, I was in Sunday school. Just like the first time any of you heard that. What? Don't you love to go to Sunday school? That was where I always felt safe. And I learned that song, and then I heard it again. I was at the football stadium. How many Cardinal fans do we have in the room? Yes. So I was at the football stadium one afternoon, and there were no football players to be seen. There were no football coaches. But there were all these people that were there, and they came to hear a boys choir sing. Well, the boys choir sang some songs. Some of you know them. It's the West Local Boys Choir. Mariah was in the West Local Girls Choir. Well, at the end of this little concert, we were all finished, and we were getting ready to leave. And a little fella about your size, how old are you? Seven. Well, I'm going to show you a picture. This fellow right here was nine years old. You all know Cormac Parker. I took this picture down at the Baptist Fellowship Center probably however many years ago that was, 13 years ago, uh, and when Cormac was nine years old. Yeah, do you want to see him? So he walks over to me, and the concert was over, just like our reading time is almost over, and he says, Miss Barbara, we have one more song that we want to sing to all these people. Can we do that? And I said, well, I'm sure you can. What is it? He said, it's a surprise. And he walked over, and he stood back in line. And all the young men were standing there, ages 8 years old, 9 years old, 15 years old, many of your all's ages. And they started singing Amazing Grace because they wanted to thank all the people that had come to hear them. Cormac stayed in a program just like this in the summers and after school. Cormac sent me a picture of himself. Look at Cormac when he graduated from high school. You see? You're going to be there too. You're going to have your high school graduation picture someday. Then, I got one more picture to show you. I ran into a friend of mine. His name is O'Farrell Head. I met O'Farrell when he was a young man about your all's age. You know the story. What did he do? He came to a program. He came after... He came in the summer. Yes, we did pretty well. That All right. All right. Now, O'Farrell had studied really hard, stayed in his after-school programs, 
And there he is with his picture with the president of the University of Louisville. Yes, Pres President Ramsey getting his college degree. Yes, sir. What high school did O'Farrell go to? That is a great question. Man, did he go to Manuel? All right. He went to Manuel, same place that Kira went to. But the point is, he worked really hard. Well, I got a phone call from O'Farrell a couple of days before the graduation was going to be, and he said, Miss Barbara, I'm so excited. I'm going to be graduating from the University of Louisville on Saturday. And I said, O'Farrell, that is so great. I'm so proud of you. I said, make sure you take a camera so somebody can take your picture. He said, well, who would be there to take my picture? And that made me really sad. And I said, well, where's Monique going to be? That was his fiance. Oh, she'll be with me. I said, well, get her to take a picture. He said, but I think I want my picture with Monique in it. I said, well, then you're going to need somebody else to take a picture. And I'm all confused. And I said, don't worry about it, O'Farrell. I'll be there. Now, I've raised seven children of my own. Oh, your face was great. <laughs> And my baby's 23 years old, and our oldest is 51. Yeah. <laughs> now, I didn't say I, I didn't say that I carried all seven of them. I gave birth to all seven of them. But when you love a child and you put your arms around that child and you're there for that child and encourage that child through all of his or her days, all the way through their education, then I claim them as my children. These are my stepchildren, adopted children, and half-brothers and half-sisters. We have a blended family, you see. So anyway, the oldest is 51. So I said to O'Farrell, I'll be there. I'll come to the graduation. And I've been to plenty. What's up with that? What's on the back? Well, that's a picture of the West Louisville Boys Choir standing on the steps of a church in London, England, where Princess Di and Prince Charles got married. Prince Charles. They played the beat. They believed they could go, and they did. Wait, I have, to, I have to show you something here. So, if you ever wonder if somebody loves you or cares about you, now that we've spent this time together this morning and we've read about Amazing Grace, you know that I love you and I care about you, as do all these people that work here with you, as do lots of people in your life. But it's really important that you have somebody to celebrate with you when you have an accomplishment. So a Pharaoh had one of his pictures taken with someone. Monique held the camera and took the picture, and there it is of Miss Barbara and Mr. Lacey. That's my husband. And this was taken probably uh, six years ago. And I saw O'Farrell the other day at the car wash, and he came running up and he said, Miss Barbara, Miss Barbara, you know that picture that we took on the day that I graduated from school? And I said, yes, honey, I've got it. I carry it everywhere I go. He said, but I have it right there next to my alarm clock. And I thank God every night that there was somebody there for me. And I'm here to say, I say yellow. You all need to thank God every day that you have all these folks over here. Thank you. Give them a round.